This morning on today's woman, Mika Brzezinski. She just wrapped up her co-hosting duties across the street on MSNBC's Morning Joe. She's come here to talk about her new book, and it's a personal one. It's called Obsessed, America's Food Addiction and My Own. Mika, good morning. It's always good to see you. Good to see you. You said this was a book you were afraid to write because you reveal something very personal about your own struggle with food over the years. Yeah, I think it's something we we don't talk about on the show, and, and as a result, I get called the food police. And I've been wanting to tell this story for a long time. You write in the book, right out there at the beginning, how does a person who is not overweight write about her lifelong obsession with overeating without sounding like a narcissistic, woe is me, skinny girl? Well, that's the that's a fair response. And I address it in the book. And I think if you read the book, you will see that there's not a lot of difference between me and someone else who struggles with food who may have a very different result. Well, tell us a little bit about what this struggle has looked like for you. You've said that you were held hostage by food. It what does that mean? It looks like an addiction. It looks like alcoholism. It looks like drug addiction. And I actually go there in the book and I look at the growing amount of science behind the addiction to salt, sugar, and fat. Have you heard those words before lately? There has been a lot of science in some books that have come out recently that are starting to show that there may be an actual process to becoming obese that has nothing to do with a lack of uh, discipline, nothing to do with being a slob, nothing to do with the judgments that we put on people who are obese. And they have everything to do with being addicted to certain foods that are surrounded, we are surrounded with. And this went on for decades for you. I mean, you talked about having a, a cycle of binging, and purging, even exercise bulimia. Everything. Um, and, you know, I still kind of struggled writing this book as I fell off the wagon a few times. So, uh, yeah, no, pretty extreme behavior. What does and that mean, falling off the wagon? I, uh, well, I would, I, the Nutella story that happened while I was writing the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it, it actually, I, I write in the book about how I think Ambien is a truth serum. I used to take a little bit to try and get up early and write, do the show, and I can't anymore because one day I woke up in the middle of the night and went downstairs and literally ate one of those large jars of Nutella, starting with a spoon, ending up with it all over my arms. And my husband was standing right there going, what is going on? But it was that kind of demon coming out in the middle of the night. It was disgusting. These are issues that you've cared about for a long, long time. And now I think we have more of an insight as to why. There came a time when you approached one of your best girlfriends, yeah. Diane, to talk about her issues with weight. Right. And that led to this book. Can you explain? We had known each other 15 years. We had shared everything, talked about our relationships, our jobs. We even had a baby together because she helped me deliver my second child because my husband was out of town. We'd shared everything. And yet Diane, over the course of our relationship, had gained 100 pounds and we'd never talked about it. So we had this incredible conversation where I went there and I said, you know, I'm scared for you. You're, you're fat. I even used the word obese where she looked completely shocked. Uh, but she then heard my story and, and the things that I did to myself to be this thin or to be much thinner because we ended up challenging each other. She said, you ought to write a book on this. And I said, well, you ought to join me. And uh, you need to lose 75 pounds by the time this book is written, and I'm going to figure out how to gain 10 and be okay with it. So she is today 75 pounds lighter. I'm 10 pounds heavier, sort of okay with it, still working on it. And I uh, went from a size 2 to a size 6. We're both healthier. I say uh, you both look fabulous. The results yeah. speak for themselves. Yes, yes. But it was an interesting issue because we discovered that even her at her weight and me at mine, we did the same things with food. We were drawn to the same things, and we got that same brain reaction that science backs up as an actual reward when you're eating certain foods, well, which points to addiction. If you're interested in this topic, you can read more about it. Again, the book is called Obsessed. Mika Brzezinski, it's always good to have you here. Thank you. Thank